All right, setting up the flag. Concrete secured. Going through the parts list here. They did not send me the gold ball, the finial. That's the very top, you know. Uh, so I didn't get that. I did get that. I got everything else. But I'm kind of bummed I didn't get a finial. So now my flagpole's just going to be kind of bare naked on the top. I'll call them and see what we could work out about that. And the uh, flag clips are plastic. They might be nylon or something, but in the Arizona heat with a heavy flag, like I'm gonna fly, I don't know that that's gonna do very well unless it's nylon. So we might have to do something else about that as well. We'll figure it out. I'll put this together. All right, so it's super early in the morning. I just got a Mountain Dew and uh, I looked in the box that this all came in and lo and behold, the ball, the finial. So they didn't screw anything up. We got everything that was ordered. That's awesome. Always check the box. It's like Christmas. Don't throw the good stuff away. Uh, this, So this is my only concern here in Arizona, but they do look quite durable. We'll see how it holds up. Let's put this together. I'm going to do... Uh, one section here in the house, it's 30 feet long, so I'm gonna have to do it all outside, really. Okay, assembly step number one, we're gonna put the ball on the top. You just screw that in. It's super difficult. And that is done. The ball does spin on that uh, bolt, so. Finger tight, that's all you gotta do. There's that, the pulley. Let's do uh, this first pull. Okay, so this first screw is the set screw to hold the pulley and the finial portion on top. I'm just gonna start it right about there. Uh, there is a nut that goes on that uh, finial ball inside there so then you take your pole ha, set it on top and you tighten that The next simple step is you just take one of the middle holes, you line up the holes there, insert the screw. Oh, I lied. You gotta insert this portion first because the screws don't go all the way through. And that is a tight fit. Take that screw out. Gotta line those up just perfect. Insert that. There it is. And they do send an Allen wrench with it. Not super easy in the house, but the first section I'm doing in here, it's just too hot outside already. It's like 7 a.m. Okay, you don't wanna over tighten and possibly misshape in the flagpole, so that's that. It's really easy to tell which which poles go where, okay? Um, there's one that's a bit thicker, and it's even labeled, part one, the wind resistor. It's considerably thicker. Um, that's the first pole, so this one will sit in the ground, 
in the sleeve that we set in concrete and then all the others are gonna sit on top, okay? Now before you put the flagpole up, you're gonna wanna insert the rope, run it through the pulley. So I'm gonna assemble the rest. My phone does not do well outside in the heat. So I'll put it all together and then I'll do the video on inserting the rope, tying the knots and all that. All right, I decided I could actually put this whole thing together inside my house because my uh, front door and back window, the whole wall's a window. So I'm gonna do that. It's a lot more temperature friendly. And it also comes with two Allen wrenches. Okay, rather than bore you with all that, here's the cleat for tying the rope at the bottom. It comes with a couple of screws. Obviously, I'm not gonna set that in until I'm outside, have the rope set, and figure out the exact length I want it. But that's that portion. I'll finish assembly and we'll drag it outside. Pardon the mess. Uh, they're coming for countertops later in the week. Uh, my house is approximately 36 feet from door to door. So I got the pole assembled. Awesome. Now I'm gonna run the rope. Okay, the fun part's feeding the rope. So what I'm doing is I'm shaping the rope like that. It's gonna lose a little bit of its shape, but as I feed it around, then it naturally wants to maintain that curve. Then you can pull it through. There's the rope. Um, I'm gonna deal with the knots and tying these on once I'm outside. Let's go hang this thing. Okay, that wasn't too bad. What I did is I tied the rope together so that it didn't accidentally fall back through. Now I'm gonna pull the knot, I don't know if we can see it there. I'm gonna pull the knot down and it, uh, rework that. It does have um, pre-drilled holes for the cleat right here. So that's gonna be super easy. Then we'll, uh, we'll hoist a flag. So to put the cleat in, you got the two holes. I just have the screw there. Start one, start the other, and then tighten. There's the cleat. What I'm gonna do for my knots for now, I'm just gonna do, uh, to tie these two together, take this one, I don't even know if that's filming right, and I'm gonna tie a knot to itself like that, okay? Now that would just slip right off. 
But if I do a knot with this one, the same way, tighten that. <clears throat> now, when I pull them together, they're bound and that will not come undone. Uh, let's see, I've got a flag bracket here in my pocket. So to make this flag bracket work, I'm just gonna go through like that and then over. And that should be sufficient for holding the flag. Now I'll go grab the flag and hoist it. There it is. That's awesome. This is the flag that came with it. It's probably half the size of my other flag, but the pole can handle this one a lot better and the flag flies a lot better. It's awesome.